Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you five simple things that can radically increase your attractiveness and your magnetism towards awesome men. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of man that you want without gimmicks or manipulation and as a result of stepping into the most alive and the most feminine version of you. Uh, a lot of people talk about techniques to attract the right guy or things you can do to feel and appear more attractive. I'm going to share with you things that are not necessarily the sexiest things you can think of in the traditional sense of the word things that are more pragmatic in nature and more even simple in the way I'm sharing them with you, but that create a vast difference in your capacity to radiate more magnetism, more light and more sensuality into the world. The first one is your stance, your commitment, your discipline of stepping into a world of possibilities versus problems. How unsexy is that? You might say, well, let me tell you, it is very sexy. Here's why. Because when you are the kind of woman who's looking at the glass half full version versus the glass half empty, you will show up with a different energy. You will show up with a different sense of light. Doesn't mean that you don't look at problems. Doesn't mean that you are just a positive thinker. It means that you can look at problems, know that they're shitty in, any, in some way, but still figure out how to turn them around, how to solve them, how to see possibility in them, how to find the gift that is something that any guy who connects with you will feel, can, uh, every part of his being will say, it, it's different, it's a different feeling than the heavy feeling that he gets when he connects with a woman who's primarily looking at the problems in life instead of the solution. So that one, as unsexy as it might feel, is gonna be huge in you seeming and appearing and being with more light that creates openness and an attractiveness factor that is higher. Second one is having the capacity to alternate between two cool emotional states. One is playfulness, the other one is depth. I'll tell you how it is for most guys. They connect with a woman and she's primarily playful and fun or she's primarily deep and asks the right questions and knows what she wants and has a, a time frame for when she wants it. Nothing wrong with either one of these two but it's more rare and more unique and more attractive to be able to embody both. Someone who can be playful with you and laugh with you and laugh at herself and at the same time, on a dime, turn around and ask a deep question, open her heart, be vulnerable and experience that. If you can practice the range of playfulness versus depth, you will stand out because most human beings tend to stay in their lane. Their lane being more playful or more deep. If you have the range of both, you're unique and different. Third, and this is so important if you were to listen to nothing else I share with you today, but listen to this one, this will make a big difference. And that is your ability to open to and connect with pleasure. What does that mean? It's from the way you savor a chocolate to the way you uh, enjoy meals, to the way you walk, to the way you shower and enjoy that water in your skin, to the way you connect to yourself sexually. Uh, to the way you engage with the world, to the lack of guilt in experiencing good things in life. When you are a woman who is deeply connected to her feelings, her senses, and is open to experiencing pleasure in her own life, that creates such an attractive, such a sensual type of magnetism that men flock to. Why? Because they connect to someone who already knows how to experience pleasure so it goes, uh, the, the, the challenge here is how to enhance her pleasure versus how to take her from a life of pain to some excitement. If you're already connected to your pleasure, first of all, it's super attractive. It, it creates a very specific type of aura around you uh, that men can't fully describe, but they definitely feel attracted to. But more than anything, it plants a seed in his mind that you already have what it takes to have an amazing life and he doesn't have to kill himself to a lot to help you be happy you already are happy you already are connected and you can actually go deeper with him if you choose to that's so attractive for a guy fourth embodiment that will help you feel and resonate as more attractive towards men 
good men is being clear on your boundaries and being courageous enough to enforce them. Why? Because if you're clear with your boundaries, he will feel more safe around you because he knows what to expect. He knows how far he can go. He knows when to pull back. He knows when to step up versus not knowing what it is that you want and maybe doing things and you didn't set the boundary and now you're acting upset but not really telling him why you're upset and he doesn't really understand what's going on. So being clear with your boundaries and having the clarity and the courage to say no or fuck no when you need to, if necessary, it also plants another seed in him. Not any idiot can get her. I am special. If I actually manage to maneuver my way into her heart and step in the right way and she accepts me as her man, then I am different and unique than all the other idiots who were just kind of like playing and didn't get a yes because she has high value, she has clear boundaries, and she doesn't just take any one. It takes a special man to conquer her heart and I am the lucky one. So it's not just better for you to be able to get more of what you want, but it's better for him in the sense that he values you more. Men tend to work to value that things that they work hard for. So I'm not saying play hard to get, that's a game and that's manipulative in nature, but I'm also saying don't offer more than, you, than, than he's earned. The last one is super important. And again, one of those that can make a night and day difference in your ability to attract more men into your life. And that is being self-ignited. Being self-ignited means that you already are a source of light. If he shows up with greatness and you want to light up even more, awesome. If he shows up with not greatness, your light is still intact. You are still radiant. You are still shiny. You might choose not to be with him. You might choose to move away from him, but your world doesn't crumble because he didn't call you, because he didn't text you, because he didn't show up the right way. You have made the commitment to show up and own your light, to show up and show the world what you're made of and express your gifts into this world in a way that no man will take down. So a guy who, connect, a guy who can see you as a son, the sun is self-ignited. It doesn't need anything else to shine. If you are that type of being, you will be incredibly more attractive towards a guy. So what does it take to be self-ignited? To make the commitment to own your light, to enjoy when he compliments you, but not need it as a requirement to shine your light. Okay? Hope these qualities and traits are helpful to you, insightful or useful in some way. I'm going to ask you if you find that this is helpful to do three things. One, click like or thumbs up on this video. Two, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell to be notified of new episodes as they come out. Three, most important of all, part A. If you find this is helpful and want to go much deeper than this, on the first line of the description of this video, you'll find a masterclass that's 40 minutes long and free that I created for you. All you have to do is click on that first link on the description of this video, enter your name and email and start watching it for free right now. Second thing is if you're saying, Burn, I want your help. I want your guidance, I want your hand-holding, I want your specific insights into my specific situation so that I don't spend an extra five years trial and erroring this thing uh, and finding my ideal partner, then you'll find another link on the description of this video that will allow you to submit an application to work with me. I will read each one of them personally. If I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out, set a time to connect, and then we'll talk. Uh, thank you so much for connecting with me, and as always, I challenge you to live a full, make conscious life.